All right, y'all. So today we are going to be talking about storytelling. Um, seeing that we recently wrapped Game of Thrones, <sighs> Le Sai, um, I figured we'll talk about other shows that I feel like are going down this path with hopes that they will not disappoint me like the season finale of Game of Thrones. Um, so the show that I'm going to talk about is American Gods, which is originally a book by Neil Gaiman called American Gods. Now, I did not read Game of Thrones, um, George R. R. Martin's uh, Fire and Song of Fire. Sorry sorry song of ice and fire however i just recently downloaded it to my audible in hopes that i can get through it faster between my audible and kindle so i can read through it and really compare things and get probably more mad about some of the great details they probably left out because that's normally how it goes um and and the truth of the matter is it takes one hell of a director to make a movie better than a book or close to the book and I'll talk about that later on. That there's one in particular that I think about, um, which some may or may not agree with. But going back to Game of Thrones against American Gods. So network to network, HBO versus stars, right? So HBO created a realm where they took a book, had all the development of the character, took that ran with it, developed it, made it in such a into such a cinematic drama that people were engulfed in the emotions, in the in the plots, in the subplots, in the sub subplots. I mean, people were down in the details of Game of Thrones, okay? Um until they passed the books and they jacked it up. So, on the other side with American Gods, I recently finished that book. I love the book. I will give people a heads up. It is uh, like fantasy. Um, it, it does a lot with mythology, folklore. Beautiful, beautifully written by Neil Gaiman. I just am excited about it. But if you're not um, used to reading multiple subplots, which if you've read Game of Thrones is very similar, um, then you'll probably be kind of turned away because there is a lot to keep up with. Um, I did find myself wanting to go back and reread or I did the same thing Kindle and Audible with that one um, Just so I can kind of keep up with the plot the the driving of the emotions. Where are we at? Where are we going? Um, and I was very happy with the ending of the book. So I believe American Gods it's in season two just completed season two if you have not seen it I won't spoil what the ending of season two is um, I feel like already they have left out some major details, but I'm hoping that they'll bring it back. Um, I can't compare whether or not they stuck to the storyline. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. You know, this is live. I really don't. Just so you know. <laughs> Excuse me. I really don't cut video because I'm going I'm to say this as nice as I can without my husband get too too mad I'm a raw person like I'm unfiltered so when you hear my kids coming in and out that's just how it is I'm a mother wife writer poet I do it all hand me the balls I juggle um anyway so I can't compare yet if Game of Thrones storyline nailed it all the way up until they jacked it up because they didn't have books where I feel like right now American Gods has some of it but it fluffs it a little bit, makes it more theatrical than what I got from the book. Um, but in comparison right now, so this is season two. The wrap of season two for American Gods still has a ton to give out, right? I'm not sure it can match an eight season type thing. But hey, prove me wrong. Make it into something immaculate and beautiful where we can't stop watching it either, please. Um, but... I know a lot of people blogs and reviews are talking about this literally I give Game of Thrones to season six after season six you lost me bruh you totally and utterly lost me um, and I'm hoping that American Gods does not do it the one thing that I like over <laughs> 
Game of Thrones, totally cultural. They have African gods and American gods. That's real. But in George R. R. Martin's world, maybe they're not. We could never be gods. We're just soldiers and assistants who were formerly slaves. And um, one of us gets our head chopped off. That's all I have, folks. Um, but American God... They introduced this god goddess. I'm up. I don't want to mess up her name. Hold on, I'm gonna find it real, real quick. Um, it's a black goddess, and her name Bilquis. Oh my god, the introduction of Bilquis is, and it's because I'm also an erotic fiction writer. But the power that they put on this goddess makes my soul flutter. It makes me just see so much coming if it's done correctly um, in my mind. But if not, don't worry about it. I'll finish it. Um, but the development of the African guy, she's not the only one. I believe there's three. There's only three um, in the book also. And there's three in the movie. So they're, they're kind of matched up there. But the representation of what their meanings are. There's other ones. There's Irish. Um, there's American, Native American, um, uh, um, Indian, um, there, there are, there's American gods culturally to me represents a fantasy world that I can dig with, which is why I'm gonna keep pushing with it. Even though I feel like it's drifting a little away from the book that I like, I would encourage you if you have not already done so to check out American gods. Come back. Let's talk about it. I'll open up a discussion if I can get enough people who kind of are excited about it, interested in it. I'm here for it. I'm here for the conversation. Um, please, please, please check it out. Just because I think it's worth the comparison between Game of Thrones book into a series, American God book into a series. Now, quick, there's only been one person, and I say this because... I feel like he he got most of the movie. Still, Steven Spielberg, when he put the color purple into movie form versus book form, was it perfect? Were all the scenes exact? They were not. However, the emotion, the character development, the passion, the pain, um, the lessons, everything that the book had me feeling he gave me also in the movie so if you want to me if you really want to watch a real adaptation from a real book the color purple yes it's old school yes it will have you crying you might get mad a few times you're gonna love it oprah did her thing Whoopi did her this but i mean the lineup is incredible danny glover everybody oh my gosh that movie I'm, i might go watch it after this honestly um but you, you gotta have time you have to have patience because um, it is, to me, one of the original, and it, it's not even um, a slavery story, really. It's it's about the emancipation almost time period when blacks were trying to work on in their own things, but at the same time, the classism we set upon ourselves, the colorism that we put into our own culture based on who we were watching or who we were told were right and wrong. Um, but I feel like it's definitely a movie if you want to catch it good. As I see the sun is setting on me. Yeah, I ain't got this video thing right. I'm going to get it right one day. I promise it's going to get better. So until next time, check out um, The Color Purple. Check out American Gods if you have not. If you have, leave some notes, some comments. Tell me what you think. And compare it to Game of Thrones. I am disappointed at Game of Thrones. So I feel like American Gods can come back in rounds like... 10, 11, and 12. I think there's 12 rounds in boxing, right? I'm pretty sure it's. So, all right, y'all. Until next story time. See you later.